being on the selection committee, which I've been doing for the last four or five years, is a terrific experience. It's definitely a lot of work. You have to spend time going through the applications, of course, and you want to be thorough and comprehensive. And then the actual day and a half that you spend in the interviewing process it can be quite exhausting, but it's also exhilarating. I find it's the most optimistic day that I have in my entire year. I come out of that day thinking we can conquer all and humanity is in a good position and all is good in the world. It's far different than what we spend most of our time worrying about, the trials and tribulations of humanity the rest of the year. Of course, the diversity of Rhodes Scholars has changed considerably over the last hundred years. But I don't actually feel the intrinsics of what we look for and what you find in Rhodes Scholars has changed in the sense that we're looking for the world's best future leaders who can fight the world's fight. The world is a different place. Those leadership skills have changed a little bit, but fundamentally the intrinsics of both extraordinarily strong academic capability, because it is an academic scholarship, combined with the teamwork and the leadership skills and the moral virtue and the principled attitude to go and fight the world's fight hasn't changed.